Okay, welcome back to part four now. Um, I'm still in the stage of actually uh, getting all these pieces out now and I'm prepping them for paint and gray. Um, I have painted this part blue and it's drying now. Um, all these other pieces here that actually go on the sides I will not do until I've actually done my shafts for my hull because I've had broken them in the past so I, I know better not to do that so we'll dig out these pieces here get them ready for paint and um, we'll do some more painting okay I've masked off the front deck now that part there at the front's gonna be uh, the dark navy blue light gray I'm not sure if you can see those but light gray Kind of mask that a little bit off, like grey, and basically that's it for that. Obviously, that's going to be painted as well. Mm, yeah, well, you know what that is. And these are gluing, and uh, they're staying on. So basically, I'll come back to those in a little while and glue the other sides on, and that'll be that finished. But right now, time to set up the airbrush. Okay, now all the parts that for the front deck are basically on these two sprues and I've decided that I've cleaned them off off uh, well, I've cleaned them all up and I've decided to leave them on this sprue. I've taken away like excess stuff and just leave the part on. I've removed all these tiny little pieces off. You know, all these are basically are, are all grey, so I'm just going to paint it on the sprue and then take them off later when they're dry and unless I've got something to hang on to. Alright, let's go painting. Well, I am very happy. Um, I took the time to mask it all off and I must say that worked really well. All the other parts have been painted and they'll actually drop onto the deck. But before I do that, I'll give that a clear coat. And then I will apply. Da, 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 give that a go. And it can either make it or wreck it, one or the other. So anyway, give it a couple of hours, let it dry. Let it set nice and properly and then we'll do that. Probably tomorrow. We'll go along with some other stuff now. Okay, after four and a half hours of masking, I finally masked the blue off and also the grey for all these little one off things in the front there and that those two little there. And I've done the rear. Um, ready to lay some grey. Okay, that was a long day, or a long afternoon. And um, yeah, I must say, oh, see, I missed a bit. More taping. Anyway, by the time you see these parts next, I'll have uh, some grey and some, uh, well, yeah, all grey. And, um, Having a look afterwards. Okay, well, things are dry. Let's take the masking off. See it's what's, how it's turned out. Turned out pretty damn good. Just a couple of little spots here and there, which like I think once I've applied this stuff, you won't see anyway. That's number one. 
number two. That turned out really, really well. Turned out excellent. That's the, that's the grey there. Oh, it's a very nice grey. Very nice. Okay, now for the, the part that scares me the most. Overall, maybe just a little bit of touch up. Did I miss a spot there? Please, sorry, I didn't miss a spot. That's tape. It's tape. Yay! Well. Okay, oh, just a bit of a touch up there on the edge. A little bit there, a couple of little spots, maybe just a little bit there, but the rest of it, I'm assuming there's going to be boats all over this. Quite happy the way that turned out. Quite happy the way that turned out. I'll let that dry properly. And um, double sided sticky tape really wants to stick. I don't know if that can stay there, really. I'm not going to go anywhere. But that is the grey there on the side as well, so that's going to be sitting. Okay, that's it for now. Well, <coughs> I've cleaned this right up. Re sprayed it in parts, right in the parts, and in between I, I touched it up. It turned out really well. Um, all the decks. All the wooden decks have been painted. All my little boats have been painted up. As you can see, I've got a few of those. But they've all been painted up and put them together. So I'm sort of waiting for everything to dry and then a little bit of a touch up. Um, Basically, what else? I've started taping and masking off one of my turrets for the French flag. I've laid the white down. Pretty happy with that. Um, the other one doesn't need it, so it doesn't need it. I'm not really worried. Okay, next. Is 
some of the superstructure that's for the rear by the looks of things so about to start that off start getting parts off and I've noticed I forgot to spray paint that and mask that off so it's one of my projects for this afternoon and I've noticed that on the next page there are a couple of major parts to go on there so I will have a look at what parts they are um, it looks like a bit of PE there now my cranes well let's not talk about those um, the side rails didn't turn out as good as what I hoped. Um, don't know what I'll do there. They're that small that I don't think it'll matter all that much. But I'll see how they go after a coat of paint. If not, it's uh, back to the drawing board for those. Um, so I'll start getting parts out and cutting them out and cleaning them up and um, get back to you. Probably put a couple of coats of paint on things because I am getting at the stage where a lot of these things need to be painted before I put them on. So maybe not so much that piece. I think I'll probably glue that piece down because it's part of the, the structure there. I might as well paint it all together. But it has got ladders on there so I'll have to put them on first. But um, I'm at the start of needing a photo etch bender for a few of these ladders. So see how that goes in the next couple of weeks. But I don't think there's anything stopping me from putting these few pieces together. Anyway, let's get it going. Okay, now I've already made them ages ago. Um, they're gonna be painted grey, and I'll probably grey and grey when I paint this up. But I want to paint that dark blue, so I'm gonna assemble that now. And uh, see how we go. Give it a coat of grey. We'll see what I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And um, see you soon. Okay, well, where are we? I'll put them pieces together. And, yeah, there's a blue one there. And it's slightly longer. Yeah, the floor monster won one part off me. First one. Don't know where it went. It's too small to find. But I found this on the floor instead. And I glued it in. It's the same diameter, same everything else. There we go. So I'm sort of really quite happy with that. And um, put that aside to dry. Okay, the next pieces are these ones here. So, a little bit of PE, and the rest is pretty much, apart from those two pieces of PE, everything is pretty much plastic. Alright, well, let's get those pieces cut out, and we'll get going. Okay, there are those parts together. Just got a little bit of pay to put on the side and two radars, but like I said, I'm going to need to paint that. So I'll leave that as it is for now. Next. Life rise. I can actually do that because that part is ready and painted. Excellent. All right, let's give it a go. You know, these parts are already painted. So those, I'm just going to put those together. Those there, uh, just going to make the PE, but I'm going to wait for that because 
having a go PE bender soon. But anyway, let's get these lock boats on there. Okay, <laughs> shouldn't start with that. We'll edit that out. Now, I don't know where I am with this video. I've gone backwards and forth a few times. Uh, basically, of course, I'm catching up with paintwork and whatnot. So, but, and I've been going on about this, and I gave it a go, and I've basically gone from this. To this. Now I'll probably apply another coat, but I really like the way it has brought up the lines. I hope you guys can see that. I think I should stand up and have a look. Yep, okay, that's that has turned out really, really nice. So I'm gonna do the rest of the panels now. And um I'll show you guys what I've done. Basically, it's not really hard, eh? I actually put this on an angle. It actually helps to um, make this stuff flow. Now, I'm going to go over everything because it highlights everything. All right, so I'll start at the top here. nice. So the deck tan was a little bit too light for my likings and I'll sort of come back when that's dry and show it to you and see what you think. Wash that brush out. And um, I'll probably see what comes up next. Just a preview of what the bow's going to look like. Now, I'm about to uh, glue all the pieces on the front, cut them all off. They've been painted, so it's just a matter of gluing them on. And then I'll show you what that looks like. I really like the way that tech deck's turned out. Gives a bit of contrast. That front bow, that, that brake water looks unreal. Quite happy with that. I touched up those two bits with grey and um, yeah, very happy. Oh, like I say, it's the fifth day of spring and all of a sudden we've gone from a mild 21 degrees during the day to all of a sudden three days in a row now of 34 degrees. It really, whew. mind you, good side of it, paint dries really quick. Well, I've glued all the parts on. Uh, the gloss is because I've um, touched up a few of the pieces. Now, 
these holes there and those holes there are for flag poles that actually get glued, I don't know what they are, but there's some sort of like a little Y bracket that actually glued, glued down to the hole as well, so I'll leave them off for now. And there, those ones there, and there are actually four guns, so obviously I'm not going to put them on just yet, because I haven't made up my mind what I'm going to do with those, but that is basically it for the bow. And I mean, that colour is just awesome. It's just turned out really nice. All right, now to um, I think we're gonna mask this piece off next and give it a coat of grey. And um, there are parts to go on that, but um, I've got to paint that up first. Before I do that, and there's some other parts that we got a bit of PE to go on this part as well. So, I'll uh, get back to you as soon as I find the parts and um, get them cut. And all right, the other part I want to show you was the mid deck. Um, I put the lifeboats on now, there's some more to go on here and here, but there's PE and there's a whole heap of stuff to go on there, so I waited. But all that masking I did, um, well, if you look down low, it looks pretty good. But from the top, you don't see much at all. But then again, it looks like I've made the effort. And I must admit, the blue and all the other colors are just turning out rather nice. Um, I normally rush these ships, I normally build one of these ships in a week, but already I'm thinking of in week five and patience is proving to be the the forte here so hope I can keep going this way because I'm really liking the way this is turning out I did a bit of uh, the blue accent uh, the brown accent on the life rafts so you see a bit of definition I think I got a bit of touch a bit of blue there but if I know me, if I try to touch it up, I'll end up going on the blue, then I'll have to touch up the blue, then touch up the brown, so I don't know, I'm sort of quite happy with the way it is.